There are many differences between hemp and marijuana, but based off of how the legal market in the United States looks at it today, Tricom Institute separates them simply based off of the amount of THC in the products. So anything that has less than 0.3% THC, we consider hemp. Anything that has more than 0.3% THC is marijuana. That difference, honestly, could be whether you're in handcuffs or not, okay? So the other thing you gotta keep in mind is the fact that not all 50 states are on the CBD bandwagon. So be sure that you're familiar with your state laws whenever you're getting CBD products shipped to you or even buying them locally. Now, in 2018, the Farm Bill was passed, which finally, after years of prohibition, allowed hemp production in the United States for food, fuel, fiber, and of course, CBD production. It also includes all of the extract from the flower, which includes CBD, some of these other minor cannabinoids like CBG and CBC, but the biggest thing you just have to keep in mind is how much THC, that 0.3% mark is what matters. Whether you've been using cannabis for a really long time or you're brand new to it, I'm sure you've heard different perspectives on the word marijuana, its history, and its meaning. In our interpreting course, we had the pleasure of having Professor Santiago Guerrera join us and unravel the entire history and the truth of the word marijuana. And we'd really like you to check out the video clip below where you can hear the entire discussion so you can get to the bottom of the word marijuana. And I think if, if we're honest with ourselves of what's happening in the industry is, uh, you know, silencing that past also silences what's taking place in the industry where we're trying to see a push for this sort of social justice framework of being able to uh, bring in individuals that have been most heavily policed uh, using marijuana prohibition right. into the industry, right? I think marijuana included in this taxonomy is a reminder of the fact that we have had this problematic history with this plant. Thank you.